The following is a video presentation of your operator's manual designed to make the operation of your 300 compact easy, safe, and efficient. The rigid 300 compact threading machine is designed to thread 1 8 inch to 2 inch pipe and quarter inch to 2 inch bolt stock. Warning! Other uses may increase the risk of injury. Before assembling or operating the 300 compact, be sure to read the operator's manual. Safety instructions are located in the front of the manual. Read and understand all the safety and operating instructions before operating the 300 compact. Read all labels on the 300 compact. For your convenience, this videotape is divided into the following five segments so you can quickly find what you need. Machine Setup Machine Inspection Installing dies into the 811A die head and installing the die head. Operation of the 300 compact and maintenance. Machine setup. Note, the 300 compact must be mounted to a stable stand or bench. To mount the 300 compact onto the 250 folding wheel stand, put the stand into the raised position. Place the machine on the stand with the carriage and tools toward the pneumatic pistons. Position the J-shaped steel hooks on the rear of the machine so the hooks face the pneumatic pistons and wrap securely around the horizontal support of the stand. Attach the 10 mm hex bolts and tighten securely. Position the front plate so the machine oil drain plug is aligned with the drain plug hole on the plate. The locking bars should be locked into the raised position locking holes on the inner leg of the stand. Attach the plate with the 10 mm hex bolts and tighten securely. To insert the pressure plate, remove the chip tray and slide the tongue of the plate under the 300 compact hammer wheel. Force the spring clip down and onto the front edge of the body casting. The rubber seal on the bottom of the pressure plate will cover the drain holes in the drip tray. The oil seal pressure plate must be used when transporting the 300 compact on the 250 stand. Otherwise, the oil may spill out of the machine. To lower the 250 with the 300 compact mounted, stand at the carriage end of the machine. Squeeze the locking bars together to disengage from the holes. Push down on the horizontal stand bar to lower. Once in the lowest position, lock into place. Squeeze the locking bars together to disengage from the holes. Pull up on the horizontal stand bar to raise. Machine Inspection to prevent serious injury, inspect the 300 compact threading machine on a daily basis. Make sure the threading machine is unplugged and the directional switch is in the off position. Clean the speed chuck jaws with a wire brush. Inspect the jaw inserts for excessive wear. Refer to the maintenance instructions if they need to be replaced. Note. For plastic and other coated work pieces, special jaw inserts should be used to prevent coating damage. Make sure the foot switch is present and attached to the machine. Warning! Do not operate this machine without a foot switch. Inspect the power cord and plug for damage. If the plug has been modified, is missing the grounding pin, or if the cord is damaged, do not use this machine until the cord has been replaced. Inspect the machine for any broken, missing, misaligned, or binding parts as well as any other conditions that may affect the safe and normal operation of the machine. If any of these conditions are present, do not use this machine until any problem has been repaired. Lubricate the machine if necessary according to the maintenance instructions. Use tools and accessories that are designed for this machine and meet the needs for the application. Accessories designed for use with other equipment may be hazardous when used with this machine. Clean any oil, grease, or dirt from all handles and controls. 
Inspect the cutting edges of the tool and eyes. If necessary, have them replaced prior to using this machine. Clean metal shavings and other debris from the chip tray. Check the level and quality of the thread cutting oil. Replace or add oil if necessary. The reservoir in the base will hold approximately 5 quarts of thread cutting oil. Note, if using the 250 folding stand, be sure to remove the oil seal pressure plate. Note, thread cutting oil lubricates and cools the threads during the threading operation. A dirty or poor grade cutting oil can result in poor thread quality. Note, to drain dirty oil and properly maintain the oil system, refer to the maintenance instructions. Installing Dies The 811A Universal Quick Opening Die Head for right-hand threads requires four sets of dies ranging from 1 8 inch through 2 inches. One set of dies is required for each of the following pipe size ranges. 1 8 inch, 1 quarter inch, and 3 8 inch, half inch and 3 quarter inch, and 1 inch through 2 inch. A left hand universal die head is required to cut left hand pipe threads. However, 1 8 inch pipe dies are not available for the left hand die head. Bolt threading requires a separate set of dies for each bolt size. No bolt dies are available for left hand universal die heads. Lay the die head on a bench with the numbers facing up. Flip the throwout lever to the open position. Loosen the clamp lever approximately three turns. Lift the tongue of the lever washer up out of the slot under the size bar. Slide the throwout lever all the way to the end of the slot in the over direction indicated on the size bar. Insert the dies to the mark on the sides of the dies. Die numbers 1 through 4 must agree with those on the head. Slide the throwout lever back so that the tongue of the clamp lever washer will drop in the slot under the size bar. Adjust the slide bar until the index line on the link is aligned with the proper size mark on the size bar. Tighten the clamp lever. For bolt threads, align the index line with the bolt line on the size bar. If oversize or undersized threads are required, set the index line in the direction of the over or undersized mark on the size bar. Install the die head by inserting the post into the mating hole in the carriage. The spring-loaded ball will hold the die head in place. Operation of the 300 Compact Warning! Operators should be thoroughly familiar with the preceding safety information before attempting to operate this machine. Failure to do so may result in electric shock, fire, and or serious personal injury. Do not wear gloves or loose clothing when operating this machine. Keep sleeves and jackets buttoned. Do not reach across the machine or pipe. Keep hands away from rotating pipes and fittings. Stop the machine before wiping pipe threads or screwing on fittings. Allow the machine to come to a complete stop before touching the pipe or machine chucks. Do not use this machine to make or break fittings. Guard or barricade the area when the workpiece extends beyond the machine. A three-foot clearance around the machine and workpiece is ideal. Use only three-wire extension cords that have three-prong grounding plugs and three-pole receptacles that accept the machine's plug. Keep bystanders, children, and visitors away while operating a threading machine. Wear safety glasses and rubber-soled non-slip shoes. Do not use if the foot switch, on-off switch, or ground plug is broken or missing. To prevent serious injury, 
Proper setup of the machine and work area is required. Check work area for adequate lighting, grounded electrical outlet, clear path to the electrical outlet, dry place for the machine and operator. Do not use this machine in standing water. Flammable liquids, vapors, or dust that may ignite. Place the machine on dry, level ground. Position the foot switch so the operator can safely control the machine, tools, and workpiece. Make sure the reverse off forward switch is in the off position. Plug the power cord into a grounded outlet. If the power cord cannot reach the receptacle, use a heavy-duty 14-gauge three-wire extension cord that will accept the machine plug. Swing the cutter, reamer, and die head to the up position. Measure and mark the pipe to be worked. If the pipe is long enough to be retained by the centering device, insert the pipe through the front or rear of the machine. If the pipe is short, insert into the front of the machine. Insert the pipe so that the end to be worked or the cutting mark is located about 12 inches to the front of the speed chuck jaws. Warning! Support long lengths of pipe with pipe supports. Use a rigid VS-99 stand. Tighten the rear centering device around the pipe by using a counterclockwise rotation of the hand wheel at the rear of the machine. Secure the pipe by using repeated and forceful counterclockwise spins of the speed chuck hand wheel at the front of the machine. To cut pipe with the 360 cutter, move the pipe cutter onto the pipe and move the carriage lever to line up the cutter wheel with the mark on the pipe. Tighten the cutter feed screw handle on the pipe with the forward off reverse switch in the forward position. Depress the foot switch and start the machine. Slowly turn the cutter feed screw handle until the pipe is cut off, then stop the machine. Return the cutter to the up position. To ream pipe with the 344 reamer, Swing the reamer arm down into the reaming position. Extend the reamer by pressing the latch and sliding the knob toward the pipe until the latch engages the bar. Position the reamer into the pipe and complete the reaming by pushing the carriage lever with your right hand. Retract the reamer bar and move the reamer out of the way. To thread pipe, lower the die head into the threading position. Oil, to lubricate and cool the pipe, will automatically flow through the die head. Note, oil flow can be adjusted with the oil flow control valve located on the back side of the carriage. Engage the dies on the pipe using the carriage lever. For the quick opening die head, raise the throwout lever to the open position when the thread is completed. The self-opening die head will automatically open when the die head contacts the end of the pipe. For the 816-812 semi-automatic opening head, simply tap the lever to open the dies when the dies are flush with the piece being threaded. Move the carriage lever away from the pipe end and move the die head out of the way. Use repeated and forceful clockwise spins of the speed chuck hand wheel at the front of the machine to release the pipe jaws. If necessary, loosen the rear centering device using a clockwise rotation of the hand wheel at the rear of the machine. If possible, the thread should be checked with a thread ring gauge. A proper thread is cut when the end of the pipe is plus or minus one turn of being flush with the face of the ring gauge. If a ring gauge is not available, a fitting can be used. The fitting should be the same as those used on the job. The pipe thread should be cut to obtain two to three turns hand-tight engagement with the fitting. If the pipe thread is not the proper diameter, 
the index link should be moved to the over or under size mark on the size bar. Maintenance Before performing maintenance on the 300 compact, make sure the machine is unplugged and the directional switch is in the off position. When the teeth on the jaw inserts become worn and fail to hold pipe or rod during operation, you need to replace the jaw inserts. To remove the worn jaw inserts, place a screwdriver in the insert slot and turn 90 degrees in either direction. Install the new springs and locking pins into the jaw. Place the new insert sideways on the locking pin and press down as far as possible. Hold the insert down firmly and rotate the insert using a screwdriver, turning until the teeth face up. Make sure to clean the teeth of the jaw inserts daily with a wire brush. Proper lubrication is essential for trouble-free operation and long life of the 300 Compact. Using a good grade of cup grease, grease the main shaft bearings every two to six months, depending upon the amount of use. Grease fittings are provided at each end of the shaft. Note. To help assure proper operation of the threading machine, keep the oil system clean as follows. Replace thread cutting oil when it becomes dirty or contaminated. To drain the oil, position a container under the drain plug and unscrew the plug. Keep the oil filter screen clean to assure proper flow of the clean oil. Do not operate this machine without the oil filter screen. Note, do not disassemble the oil pump. The pump should be disassembled only by a rigid authorized service dealer. To clean the oil system reservoir, place a container under the chip pan drain plug. Remove the drain plug and drain the oil. Slide out the chip tray. Lift up and remove the insert tray. Use a putty knife to remove the pipe scale, metal shavings, and dirt. Remove the oil filter and clean the screen. Use a putty knife to remove sludge buildup on the bottom of the chip tray. Check the motor brushes every six months and replace when they are worn to less than one half inch. Note, service and repair work on this threading machine must be performed by qualified repair personnel. The machine should be taken to a rigid independent authorized service center or returned to the factory.